ओके वेल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू द वन डे वर्कशॉप द पर्पस फॉर व्हाट वी हैव असेंबल्ड ओवर हेयर इज ए ड्रीम पर्पस we have a dream to take dave institution at the top most we have a dream to excel in every field we have a dream that each and every student should get above 95 percent as per our honorable director sir talked about why we are lagging behind it's a very important point to think about we have a great role to play we are teachers and what the education psychology tells us first of all let me define psychology it is a study of mind soul or behavior whose behavior we need to observe the behavior of learners if we could observe the behaviors of learner then a miracle could happen because you see each child is a individual child he is a dream child of his parents whatever he may be he may be good or bad we make the children good or bad in fact no child is good or bad every child is unique in its own field we often tag them i am really very sorry to say that we should not tag in fact we should express gratitude we should be thankful to all those learners all those students who come to us to receive education they come to school from far of the places from their home from their so many abodes they are coming they come to school to learn and if we could create an environment if we could create an environment it is necessary that if the environment is created a conducive a familiar a friendship like environment is created then we can make them educate just listen a story there was a man who was employed in cutting woods for the four years he was cutting woods but he was not getting raise in his salary and on his status another man joined the same institution the same work he was given in two years that man excelled can anybody say why that man excelled the man excelled because he was sharpening his tools when the old wool cutter asked what is the reason how could you cut so many trees in that much hour and i am not able to cut he asked a simple question have you ever sharpened your tool here we have the tools that is mind we have mind that we need to sharpen 
God gifted mind. Because the responsibility that we have been given to create a future citizen. In fact, we are not teaching, we are creating a very society. Future generation we are creating. We are not only teaching the students, the entire generation is to be taught. So our role is very important. As we are in 21st century. First of all, we should learn that education without value is meaningless. It is meaningless. You should have some values. If you don't have values in your life, I don't know what you are. Of course, you are not a teacher. You may be man, but without value, you are nothing. Value may be different from person to person. Honesty is value. Sincerity is value. Punctuality is value. Dedication is value. Devotion is value. Whatever the value, at least you should have one value in you. One value. Because you see, your personality, your personality, that is very important. At least you should have one good quality in you, so that you can influence your child. So that you can influence your child. So that you can motivate. Motivate is different type. It may differ from person to person. If somebody fails, period starts. If a girl is trying to ride a bicycle, she fell down. She again stands up. She again rides the bicycle. When, the, when she falls down from the bicycle, there she gets the motivation. No, if I have fallen down, I should get up. Again, I should start fresh. That is called motivation. That is called motivation. How you get motivated, it differs from person to person. Somebody may be motivated by different ideas, different books, different stories, different movies, different lifestyles. We all have in fact. We have. But in teaching learning, we don't have particular styles. We all are what? Constitution of what? We are constituted with what? The supreme power that is sun. We are made of what? According to the Indian philosophy, the five basic elements. Supreme is what? The sun. That is fire. So, naturally, if we are constituted with this, all those five greatest power, fire, water, air, all are the powerful elements. Every individual is some sort of have creativity. Out of box idea. Everybody is creative over here. How you use your creative power, it depends on you. How much you are innovative, it depends on you. Funny thing is that we are creative in many fields but not creative in our classroom. I am very sorry to say. We are not creative in classrooms. Our FA student is asking somebody, we should have some compassion. We should learn to say thank you. What a good question you have asked. What a way you have spoken very well. Even if you have given your wrong answer, you accept the wrong answer. Wrong answer is not wrong. According to the child, he answered it correctly. We make it wrong or right. In order to motivate, okay, my dear friend, you have spoken well. But you need to motivate, change a little bit of you. Total correction cannot be done in a day. For that what we need? Critical thinking. How we can develop critical thinking? Critical thinking can be developed by three basic things. Introspection. We need to talk. 
talk to our self we never talk to our self about our shortcomings as we are human being i admit that we have shortcomings nobody is perfect over here only god is perfect so there is a shortcoming we need to admit it and if we if we could admit this that i have a shortcoming the day you will realize that you have a shortcoming you will immediately start something new that is one way to improve your critical thinking next way is observation we observe many things even animals observe the very famous the story of crow and the pot how he get the idea to drop a stone into that water that was lying in the the bottom where he get the idea he has not read at all no book he has ever read he has never attended any school but look at the idea where that critical thinking came to that pro that he picked the stone after the stone and raised the water level and quench his thirst so my dear friend take a leave out of that idea that even animal like pro who has not ever attended any schools has not received any kind of a formal education or any social education if he has some critical thinking why we could not have that kind of a critical thinking in us it could be developed by observation we observe we learn but never execute even 10% of learning is executed then teaching learning will be very successful then the next thing is about experimentation we need to experiment have we ever experimented in teaching we have learnt a lot funny thing is that we fail to touch book the thing that we have read in 80s still we are carrying it new things new syllabus new books new journals new books are available in the market i request everybody over here to please develop reading habit because without reading teaching cannot be complete a very successful book i want to show you that is advanced educational psychology that is a very new book i used to read this book because you see we need to read about the educational psychology because we are going into the new century and unless or until if we will not read the educational psychology we won't be able to ever deliver the desired result the desired result that we think about that we talk about that we dreamt about and what or not then come to the active we all are aged person we are not that much active at as much as we should city life is a life of hurry but we like in spite of that we need to be active if we are active then we can to that be active be active in your class as well we simply go to the classrooms and write the topics on the it is not a good method it is lecture method we directly come on lecture method dear friends we are teaching children teaching a person like you is very easy because you are you are developed you are matured but a students that come to your class they are not that much mature as you are 
and if you blame a child we normally blame the child it is shortcoming of a teacher that he blames a child in fact we should say thank you in spite of blaming them. we should be thankful we express gratitude if he has done something wrong oh wow that's very good you have written so beautifully even if you have written so worse even if it is isn't so dirty that you that you cannot read it but motivate oh no it's okay it's okay a little bit of change is required it's learn to say learn to say learn to say they okay very well you have done it say good words and if you will say those good words the child will open to you if somebody ask 2 plus 2 for when you if a child say sir it is 5 oh very good he is the most innovative child who say 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 he must be most innovative he might have thought about some other idea accept it so oh, wow you have given a very different answer how you come to let let him explain let him explain what happens normally that we immediately stop oh what a rubbish thing you have talking you are talking how it could be possible where you come from have you ever not learned the table these are negative comments don't be negative to the child don't make any negative comments to the child if you are making any negative comments to the child you are creating a negative image before a child encourage oh yeah you have spoken well you have written well then explain no my dear child it cannot be 2 plus 2 5 then you teach but don't jump let him explain his idea let him explore his, his world is his own world let him explore into his world allow him to speak allow him to think allow him to pay let him pay learn then you start one by one a step by a step in a single day you won't be able to teach funny thing is that what we compare our knowledge to the child we are completely forget that how what we were knowing at this class somebody say like a parent like situation oh how dare you to tell a lie oh my dear friend remember have you never ever ever tell a lie we always but if a child tell us a lie we react laughably we react we react like anything as if he has committed a murder oh my dear friend remember about yourself that how many times you tell a lie in a day in a single day when at the at this age how many times you tell a lie and if a child is telling a lie you react like a lie if a child is not does not know anything about you you react like anything you simply compare your knowledge with the knowledge of a child simply you compare this is it possible you are a ba ba 25 years of experience is then you how do you compare don't compare then the next thing is recognition how you recognize we need to recognize the need of the child according to the educational psychology there are 37 needs 37 needs that we want to complete some of the need you think about every one everybody wants to be praised everybody it's a common we want to listen good words even if a mature man 
a man of 50 years, 60 years wants to hear the good words, why not the child? What is bad in telling good words for the students? What we are going to lose? We are not going to lose anything else. We are not going to lose anything. Then, we need, are we going to lose anything? No, we are not going to lose anything. So critical thinking is that, that we need to understand creativity, motiv motivations and need. Creativity, I have already told you that everybody has some creativity. Try to use out of the box idea. Yes, wait a minute. Out of the box idea. If you have an idea, it's good. Try some idea that is out of box. Out of the book. The thing that you have observed, the thing that you have learned, the thing you may have learned from the child, you may use it. It is not necessary that you always use the bookish idea. If you are using any bookish idea, bookish idea may be, may be failed. But if you are innovative, if you are creative, you will certainly use some different method to teach the child. There is no set rule that how you teach. It depends upon you that how you teach. Yes, sir. Sir. Please. I don't want to, I don't know about your painting world. I am not related to your painting when I'm on, sir. What I want to hit upon, I want to hit upon the creativity. You are talking about the person like Shakespeare, William Wordsworth. Everybody cannot be Shakespeare. Everybody cannot be Wordsworth. I am talking about the person who is down to the earth. How you can turn those? Of course, I do admit that everybody is not equally talented. Everybody wants to know that you are the one needs. What is the one needs? Pardon? That is biological, social, economical needs. Every suppose one need. Who can find it? Who can find it? Just listen. That is a something. No, that is maybe, but thirty-seven needs. That is defined in educational psychology. I am talking about. You go through the book, then you will come to the know about that. Okay, after that, after the meeting, you, I will show you what are those 37 needs. If I will go on elaborating on those, all those 37 needs, it required almost 5 hours. 5 hours. Sorry for interruption. No interruption. No interruption. You are good. So, what I, common thing I am hitting upon. The common need that we want to be, to aspire, we need freedom. We need security, we need education, we need food and clothes, we, we need to be praised, we need, need, need food, such, some common needs. We need to think about only the common needs. Common needs. The biological needs are not for the students. What is the need of theft? If somebody making a theft, it may be... It may be due to the inculcation that he get from his home. Because you see, no child is born thief. Nobody is a born thief. Nobody is born rebra. But how? It is the situation, circumstances and the society that contributes in making or turning somebody into them. Of course it will vary. My need is different, your need is different. You see, what you get, you see, the, the same water of river, Ganges is poured into different shapes of the bottle. That the bottle is are colored in different. It is red, it is blue, it is yellow. If you pour the same river Ganges water into the yellow bottle, of course, the water will appear yellow for you. For him, it will appear blue. For her, it may appear green. For him, it may appear black. Because, you see, you have selected, we all select the particular design. That is what we call attitude. 
nobody is born with attitude we frame ourselves we create we select in fact we select the certain water what is the mistake of the water what is the mistake of that water gange if it is looking dirty if your glass is dirty it will look dirty am i right or wrong so my dear sir be careful about the selection you cannot choose your nose you cannot choose your father but sometimes men are the master of their own fate are we we cannot choose destiny cannot choose but fate you are the master how you design yourself what is the purpose for your birth what is the purpose for your life if you forget about you nobody can change you nobody because it is your design you have selected it my dear friend what is wrong here? the education system there is nothing in education there is nothing wrong in that water the pure ganges water you have selected that water my dear friend and if your bed shape is wrong nobody can correct you have created a cell and you don't want to come out of that cell if somebody is living in that cell he will never never and you know what these kind of things is for they are called career critics they make career out of criticism they only criticize whatever you do even if you do good they will always look for some criticism if you will go for digging gold oh my dear are you digging gold what you are going to get from digging even digging 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 you will get 10 grams of gold my dear friend what i am going to get even positive people will think about only the positive result negative people will think everything negative even you do good even you cut your throat and place on a table dear friend this is my neck for you oh sorry sorry you this is your neck i don't recognize you is it you so my dear friend select your design here if you fail if somebody fail he fails due to the design that he has selected because you have created your fate you were given chance to make your fate but you have spoiled yourself in all the different things of the world and that way you are full of short term of course there is a short coming sun in our life but we need to count the blessings that we have think about the blessings think about the role see the role of a leader in a very scorching heat it is so hot and this person died the principal himself come out of the chamber he is in that chamber ac chamber and stand for half and one hour and after the age of retirement has a stand for the day see the dedication what is the need of him to stand in that scorching heat trench in that but he stand there because this person of a child is he never stand in the shed he himself go in the shed so under the sun and the teacher comes so this is called design resilient he has adopted resilience he is that much hard i am not telling lie my teachers from the dev hall they may come and they will see that for one hour he remain standing on the gate during the dispersal during the reporting time in a spy without having any camera umbrella and like that he is 60 years retired person but see that is what called design he has selected the design of the water that is plain pure simple and honest why don't you tell
take a leaf from that. Why don't you? Of course, you are the future leader. You are the future leader. <coughs> then, the next thing that I want to discuss about the collaboration. 21st century skills, heat of work, collaboration. As it is a collaborated effort that we all are assembled over here. Collaboration in learning, teaching learning. How you can help others? We have the greatest shortcoming that we never try to help the juniors, the newcomers. We never try to exchange our knowledge, teaching experiences. For that reason, workshops are done. Here I am sharing what I have learned in my 25 years of teaching. Those who are new, try to observe, try to recognize the need of the time. It is time to understand critical thinking, collaboration and communication. Sometimes we fail to communicate. Sometimes we fail to communicate. If a child, if a child fails to communicate, we become angry. But even we fail to communicate what we want to say. Be clear in your communication skill. When I go through the question papers, so many instructions are needed. I often ask, why is this instruction is not given? Let the child will understand. Why that child will understand? Why not a clear instruction is given in a question paper? What to do? A clear instruction in the question will make the child understand about the answer what he wants to give. But normally, whenever the preparing a question comes in our mind, we think about the best of our question, the best of the knowledge, and the worst of the question we have. We choose the hardest question. Why not the simplest question? What is the purpose? What do you want to show? Do you want to show your knowledge to your child? That I am that much learned? I am that much educated? Oh my dear fellow, oh my dear friend, I know that you are educated, but then why the child you are trying to show? The purpose of a question paper should be not that even the back bencher should be able to solve it easily. At least 60 to 70 percent questions should be. But what happens? Grammatical mistake, spelling mistakes, make instruction mistakes. Normally it is found. We need to be clear. Then what ha happens? Self-friendship. As we all are human beings. As we all are human We need friendship. We need company. The child who is coming to this school is not new to this environment. CBSE has recently released a very a book of more than 500 or 700 pages. Health and well-being. Are we aware about the health and well-being of a child? No. We should notice. We should tell the child what are the changes, what may be, may, may happen if a child fell down. We need to Make them understand that even if you fell down, you cry. But why are you crying like anything? What? Nothing has happened. Tell a story about that. When I was a child, I fell many times. The student gets panic. My child also gets panic. Paper, my dear, five papers in a same day. 
वी हैव टू टू एग्जामिनेशन इन ए सिंगल डे वी यूज टू टेक टू पेपर्स इन ए सिंगल डे हाउ टेल दैट योर चाइल्ड दैट डियर यू यू हैव गिवन दैट मच टाइम थिंक अबाउट आवर सिचुएशन वी यूज टू वॉक माइल्स एंड माइल्स एंड इन ए सिंगल डे वी यूज टू अपेयर इन टू पेपर्स हाउ इट वॉज पॉसिबल बिकॉज वी वी आर रेजिलेंट वी वी आर हार्ड the present child is not resilient at all tell them in a story of hardship that even if you fall no matter get up nothing has happened nothing has happened if a child is a, a standing in the prayer he feels down he feels down in courage talk about their as beings make them friend when you will make the child friend then the child will understand so with these words what i want to say you want to my friend tripurai krishna and sanjay ji is music teacher over here there is a very famous song the surat na ban paaye ya to hoga i would like to repeat that for you <laughs> let me try yes, let me try ha sab log mere saath gayenge sab log suraj na ban paaye to deepak ban ke chalta chal suraj na ban paaye to ban ke deepak jalta 